And this practice today will be a slow flow. Um, I'll be using blocks. So if you have blocks at home, I would encourage you to grab them, have them nearby. Um, if you don't have blocks, uh, soup cans work, books work. Make do with what you have and we'll start on our back, resting supine. So resting supine in a uh, bound angle shape. And just make sure your blocks are handy. Uh, bound angle, soles of your feet together, let your knees fall open to either side of your space. Blocks might feel nice resting underneath your knees for a bit of extra support. And allow your left hand to settle onto your heart, your right hand onto your belly. And I really love to start practice here as it gives us a moment to really sink into the space, into the moment. You can acknowledge every part of your body that is connected and supported uh, by the earth below. So the outer edge of your feet, the back of your hips, your glutes, maybe there's this really supportive sensation across the back body, your shoulder blades. And the back of your head falls really heavy into your mouth. And with your hands connected to your body as well, we can start to acknowledge the flow of breath, the rhythm of our breathing, each in and out breath as it flows through. And with that, there's this peace in knowing that we are exactly where we need to be, that we have our breath to support us. And we have the ability with this awareness of the breath and the sensations in the body to take a break from the mind, get out of your head, at least for the next. 55 minutes or so and allow your breathing and your body to anchor you into the moment. And we can acknowledge here that there are others breathing with us. So empty up a current breath you're holding and take a deep inhale through your nose, fill all the way to the top of your lungs. There is expansion into both hands. And as you exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Maybe you sink even deeper into your mat. Two more breaths like that, inhale. And exhale. One more big breath together, fill all the way up. And let it go completely, empty all the way to the bottom. Take your hands down to your outer thighs and draw your knees in together to touch. Keep your feet flat on the mat and heel toe your feet out to the edges of your mat and allow your knees now to fall towards one another. It's this gentle counter sensation as the knees fall heavy towards one another. Can you allow a bit of ease and softness to settle into your hips? And scan the body in this shape for any tension you might be hanging on to. Let the muscles in the lower body relax. Can you feel your shoulders settle away from your ears? You can take a gentle rock of your head from side to side. If there's gripping, clenching in the neck or the muscles in your face. Slowly open up your knees, keep your feet out wide. You can open up your arms to a cactus shape or a T. This invites some space, some opening across the chest and allow your knees to fall from right to left. And acknowledge what it feels like to be in your body through this movement. And 
And next time you come back through center, can you draw your knees in towards your chest? Give yourself a big hug, big squeeze in. Your arms can cross over your shins, grab opposite elbows, wrists, or fingertips, whatever's available. And then invite a gentle rock from side to side. You can round your forehead up towards your knees, invite some space across your back body. And eventually meet with one hand on each shin. Feel your shoulders melt down from your ears. And begin to make circles with your knees. The knees can either move together as a unit or take the knees apart and back in together. We're inviting now some mobility in the hip joints. You can switch directions at any point or play around with a different variation. Once again, tuning into the sensations that come up for you in this movement. There might be a snap, crackle, pop sensation. There might be some stickiness, some resistance. Just allow the breath to guide you and move you through that. And Really moment by moment, move by move, breath by breath, the body will start to open, the sensations will start to change. And eventually meet with your knees back in towards your chest, give yourself another big hug, big squeeze. And lower your feet down to your mat. Once again, open your arms to a cactus or a T, press into your feet and lift your hips, slide them to the right side of your space. And then knees pull in towards your chest again and let them fall to the left. So you're in a spinal twist. If your neck allows, let your gaze fall over your right shoulder. You can keep your eyes closed here and with each cleansing breath, each exhale breath, can you soften into the muscles along your spine. Ease the muscles in the outer line of your right leg. And watch the flow of your breath. Can you take complete, full inhales all the way to the very top? And empty out the breath completely all the way to the bottom. Couple more breaths. Your next inhale, bring your gaze back to center, draw your lower body back to center. Plant both feet flat, lift your hips to realign your spine, and take your arms alongside your body, palms down. Bridge flow with your breath, walk your heels in nice and tight towards your glutes, and as you inhale, press into your hips, lift your hips up towards, or press into your feet, lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Exhale, slow lower your hips back down. With the cadence of the breath, inhale, lift up, press into your feet, hip bones lift. You can send your gaze down on the midline. Exhale, slow forward. Take three more nice and slow at your pace. Inhale, lift. Acknowledge the sensation through the front line of your body. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Can you activate, squeeze your glutes to the top? Exhale, slow lower. One more time, press into your feet, lift your hips up. You're welcome to pause at the top and just see what it feels like to be in your body. One more, inhale, breath. Exhale, slow, lower, up. Press into your feet, just a slight lift of your hips this time. Arms open back up to cactus or T. Hips slide to the left side of your space. Knees draw in and allow them to fall to the right. Once again, you can drop your gaze opposite direction of your knees over your left shoulder this time. Close down your eyes and allow 
allow yourself to fall heavy into each part of your body anchored, rooted into your mind. Shoulders down. 
and open up right fingertips towards the back of your space. The torso takes this gentle twist open to the right. Lengthen up through your spine. And can you send your gaze over your right fingertips? Stay for an inhale breath. On your exhale, transition to the other side. Right hand to your outer left foot. And left fingertips reach to the back of your space. Allow your face to fall. Keep using the inhale breath to lengthen. Your exhale guides you to your twist. Let's stay for one more inhale. Exhale, switch over other side. Again, left hand, outer pinky toe edge, right foot, right fingertips reach back. Stay for your inhale. And exhale, twist other side. Stay right here, inhale breath. Exhale, come back through center. Inhale, reach your arms up and over, lengthen up through your spine. Exhale, bend your knees, wrap your arms over your shins, round your forehead to your knees, and allow your back body to kind of dome, expand open. So you feel your shoulder blades move away from one another. Slowly open back up, cross your ankles, and roll over onto all fours. But we'll set up for a toe squat. Bring your knees together, your big toes together, and tuck your toes under. Okay, this uh, may start to feel quite intense for the feet. Maybe you feel it in the knees. A block might be nice to place just underneath your bum. A pillow or a blanket work as well. It takes a bit of the compression out of the knees. At any point, if this becomes a bit too intense, you're welcome to just rise up and hold here. But we're allowing this opening, this work through the soles of the feet. Okay, and we'll distract with the upper body. Inhale, arms reach up and over. Inhale, back. Take eagle arms. So that's right arm under left to start. Wrap once, twice. Maybe pound palms together or back with the hands. And let's add a bit of movement for the spine from here. Option to grab opposite shoulder blades if wrapping the arms up is not available. On your inhale, can you lift your elbows up, lift your chest, lift your gaze. And as you exhale, can you hinge forward and round through the back body as you draw your elbows towards your navel. Inhale, breath, elbows lift, gaze up. And exhale, round, squeeze in, elbows to navel. Take one more on this side, inhale, open up. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, come back up through center, release just the arms. If you need to give the lower body a break, rise up for a moment. And settle back in, left arm sweeps under right this time, once, twice, maybe palms together, back of hands, or you grab opposite shoulder blades. Inhale, lift, elbows up, gaze up. As you exhale, round, squeeze in, elbows move towards your navel. Inhale, open up. And exhale, squeeze in. Okay, one more round together, inhale. And exhale, squeeze. Inhale, open up your arms, both sets of fingertips to the sky. Slowly bring your hands down to the mat. Untuck your toes and invite a gentle pat, tops of the feet, a little tap. And then with the tops of your feet flat to the mat, can you sit back onto your heels? Just be mindful of your ankles and your knees. There's a counter stretch here. Take your hands behind you. This might be where you stay. This might be where you stay. You listen to your body. If you are here, and you can move a little bit further. Lift your knees up away from them. Wherever you are, can you lift up through your chest, roll your shoulders down and back. Maybe close down your eyes. Allow your breath to anchor you back into your body, back into the moment. Check in with where you feel sensation. Do you need to modify, change, move deeper, or come out with two more breaths? If you're 
knees are up away from the mat, slowly lower back down. Come all the way forward and let's meet at the top of the mat in a tabletop. Cow-cat movement, we'll start together. Spread your fingertips wide, arm bones stack, knees hips tap. Use your inhale to let your belly fall, peel your shoulders back, your chest, your gaze move through. Exhale, press away from the mat. Draw your navel to your spine, tuck your chin to your chest, your broad through your back body, and there's this tapping of the tailbone. Again, inhale, belly falls, lift your hips, peel your shoulders, back, chest through. And exhale, round navel to spine. If you're comfortable closing down your eyes, give it a try and start to move your body in a way that feels good for you. So it might be this cow cat flow or you add a barrel roll into the spine a press back to child pose maybe extend through you can charge one leg back then the other no right or wrong just take some movement that your body is really craving right now in this moment i like to change the position of my hands and move into the wrist fingertips turn out turn in you have five breaths on your own to just move. Be curious in your body. A few more breaths. And eventually we'll meet back in a neutral tabletop. Keep your knees where they are and walk your hands an inch forward. Your wrists are slightly ahead of your shoulders. Root through your left palm. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. There's a twist. As you exhale, can you sweep right arm under? Hover your right shoulder an inch or two from the mat. And inhale, open back up. Big stretch, gaze up, look up. Exhale, sweep right arm under. One more time, inhale, open up. This time as you exhale, lower your right shoulder, right ear down to the mat, and pause. Some of you might feel comfortable walking your left hand towards the top of your mat. Pause for a moment here, and if your right ear cannot settle down, a block under the ear or a pillow blanket, If you need a bit more space, right arm can reach up towards the, sorry, left arm towards the ceiling, left arm to lower back, maybe there's a bind. And as you breathe here, can you roll your left shoulder more open? There's this compression on the right side, but space opening through the left. Take a couple more rounds of breath. Allow yourself to be in the body, be with your breath. If you took your left hand away from the mat, slowly bring it back down. Press into your left hand. Let's all open up to a twist to the right side for one big inhale. And exhale back through to your tabletop. Hands again are slightly ahead of the shoulders. Inhale, left arm will reach up this time. Take a big stretch. Exhale, sweep. Left arm hovers under right side. Inhale, open up. And exhale, sweep through. One more big inhale breath. Open up, look up. And exhale, sweep through. Lower down onto your left shoulder, left ear. Again, you can use a block or a pillow, a blanket to find some ease and some comfort in the upper body. Your right hand can walk forward. Maybe it meets your lower back or you bind. Right hand to your inner left thigh. Continue to use your inhale to lengthen through your spine, your exhale to twist. And as you breathe through the compression on the left side, can you invite more space to open through the right?
Take two more breaths where you are. Inhale. Move with your exhale. Oh, one more inhale. Exhale. If your right hand is off the mat, bring it back down. Right hand will root down. Left arm opens up. Gaze up, look up. And exhale. Tabletop. Okay, from here, let's meet in a downward facing dog. So you can keep your hands slightly forward from the shoulders. It allows a bit more space to set up. Tuck your toes and as you lift your hips up towards the ceiling, can you feel your core start to fire up? Energetically root through your palms and charge down through your heels while keeping your hips lifted. There might be movement that feels good for you. I always pedal my knees, sway my hips, shake out my head a few times and allow yourself the next few breaths to Tune into the new sensations, the shift in energy as you start to rise up from the mat. Maybe how your down dog feels today compared to yesterday or what expectations you have for your body. Just allow yourself to be with what is here, be with your breath and maybe breathe in gratitude for however you feel today. Soft bend in your knees and look to the top of your mat. There's a forward fold there. Walk your feet all the way forward. Feet hip distance apart. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through your spine. You can bend your knees a lot. Fingertips graze your shins. Feel your shoulder blades draw down and back. Exhale, forward fold. Again, inhale, lengthen up through your spine. The core is working. The spine is long. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale, lengthen, exhale, forward fold. Another great place to have a block handy or your soup can, water bottle, whatever you're using, especially if the ground feels really far away. You can bend your knees a lot here if there's quite a lot of pressure in the back of the legs or in your lower back. Wherever you have landed, can you let your head hang heavy? And right elbow might feel like the right place to be. Grab opposite elbows. You can sway your torso side to side. Shake your head no yes. There is room in every single shape we land in today to be curious in the body, to explore, to modify, to change it so it feels good for you. Couple more rounds of breath. Use your next inhale to lengthen up through your spine. Draw your shoulder blades back. Exhale, forward fold. Let's rise all the way up to stand. Full body stretch, arms reach up, gaze up, look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. From standing at the top of your mat, root through both feet, use an inhale breath, arms reach up and over. As you exhale, find your left wrist and hinge over to the right side of your space. If you feel really tight here in the shoulders, you're welcome to take your right hand to the outer line of your right leg and continue to reach up and over through just your left fingertips. Can you roll your top shoulder more open? Lift your gaze up towards the ceiling. Close down your eyes if that feels good and acknowledge the breath expanding through your left side body. Inhale, come back up through center. Both sets of fingertips reach up. Explore this on the other side. Grab your right wrist, lengthen up and out of the waist. Hinge over to your left side. And again, any strain in the shoulders, See what it feels like to hold this variation instead. Left arm to the outer line of your leg, right fingertips reach over. And we're inviting with the assistance of the breath that is opening the space through the right line of the body. Inhale, come back up through center, grow tall, both sets of fingertips reach up. Explore a back bend, squeeze your glutes, lift your chest, your chin, round back. Inhale, come back up through center, exhale forward fold. 
blocks, cans, whatever you have handy here. Inhale, lengthen up through your spine. On your exhale, hands down to the mat, step your left foot towards the back of your mat. If you need to take a few extra steps to get there, take your time. Front knee and ankle stack, you root through your right foot and lower your left knee down to the mat, top of your foot as well. Now you can stay right here, hands on the mat, or bring your hands to your right thigh, or arms up and over. You get to choose. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears wherever you are. And as we hold in this shape, there's this opening through the right hip flexor muscle, left hip flexor muscles, compression on the right side. But can you hold some activation in the lower body so we're not collapsing into the hips here? There's still this activation, this engagement. So energetically, can you draw your right heel back slightly and your left knee forward? Notice there's that little lift up through your midline. Okay, inhale, breath lift and lengthen. On your exhale, bring your hands down to your mat or your blocks. Tuck your left toes and straighten out through your right leg. Lift your hips up and back. Allow your torso to fold over your right leg. And then we'll flow through those two shapes. Bend back into your right knee. Lower your left knee down to the mat. Maybe your arms come up and over. As you exhale, bring your hands to the mat or to your blocks. Tuck your left toes. Lift your hips up and back both. Three more nice and slow with your breath. Bend your right knee. Lower your left. Inhale. Exhale, so it's a long breath as your hands meet the mat. Straighten your right leg, hips lift up and fold. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. One more full round. Inhale. And exhale, pause and hold. Okay, with or without your blocks, walk your hands to the long edge of your mat left side. Pivot onto both feet so your toes point in the same direction. Use an inhale to lengthen up through your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Okay, a wide leg forward fold as you allow your head to hang heavy. Options with the hands, you can keep them on your props. You might bring them down to the mat. Hands behind the back might feel like a nice place to land, an interlaced grip, allowing the grip to fall overhead. One hand to each foot or ankle. You can invite a bend into each knee. No right or wrong, you guys can choose what movement your body needs right now and know that you are anchored here with your breath, that you are supported and that you have the sensations in your body to let you know if this is right for you. Two more breaths. Slowly come back onto your hands or onto your props. Walk back towards the top of your mat. Pivot on your left toes, you're in a lunge. Move your props out of the way, plant your hands and step back to a downward facing dog. So we've been in this shape before, check in with anything that feels different. And on your inhale, can you slowly come forward to a plank pose? Right away, all the way to your tippy toes, lower your knees. Your shoulders are slightly ahead of your ribs. Take a 90 degree bend into your elbows. Feel your triceps fire up. The core is working. Stay for your inhale. And come all the way down onto your belly. Exhale. With your hands still in line with your rib cage, can you slide them off your mat, tent up onto your fingertips? If you know you have quite a lot of tension in your lower back, open your feet out to the edges of your mat. Elbows point up towards the ceiling. On your inhale, lift your chest up and peel your belly away from the mat. Gaze towards the front of your space. As you exhale, can you drop your right shoulder towards the midline and gaze over your left? 
Inhale, tent back up onto your fingertips. Try the other side. Drop your left elbow, shoulder, and gaze over the right. Inhale, come up through center. One more time each side. Right shoulder will drop, gaze to the left. Inhale, back up through center. Drop your left shoulder, gaze to the front. Inhale, come up through center. Lift your chest, lift your gaze. Slow lower back onto your mat. Bring your hands back in towards the ribcage. Bring your big toes to touch and press back into a child's pose. Your knees can open up wide or keep your knees together. Settle into the variation of this shape that feels good for you. Forehead on the mat, spread your fingertips wide. Holding here in this shape, acknowledge every part of your body that is connected to the mat below. Can you allow yourself to melt really heavy into those points of contact? Sigh out with ease. Stay for your inhale breath. As you exhale, press into your hands, downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, cuddle your knees, ha, let that go. Lift your right leg high to the sky, inhale, breath. So you kick your right leg up and back behind you while rooting your left heel down. Open up through your hips, bend your knee and stack your right hip over your left. You can keep both hands rooted if that feels stable for you, or option to tent your right fingertips and allow your right heel to fall even more to the left side, opening up space along your right line body, right other line. If you took your right hand up the mat, slowly root down, everyone onto your left toes, look forward and step forward there. Okay, now you can lower your back knee down to the mat if that feels most supportive for you. Option to rise up to a crescent lunge. Tuck your left toes under, root through your right foot, and rise all the way up, stacking your shoulders over your hips. So a bit more of a yang and active shape for you now to fire up through the quads, the glutes. Your core is working, your chest is lifted. And I'll just face you here. We'll add some work into the upper body. On your inhale, grow tall through your fingertips. On your exhale, can you squeeze your arms open to a cactus? Shoulder blades draw back. Inhale, reach your fingertips back up towards the ceiling, grow tall. And exhale, squeeze shoulders back. Take three rounds as you hold stable in your foundation. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze. Last two, inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. One more, inhale, reach. Exhale, open up to cactus, pause and hold. Bring your hands to meet at heart center, find buoyancy in your back foot, and step to the top of your mat and stand tall. Shift your weight into your left foot. Bend into your right knee and draw it in towards your chest. Feel your shoulders soften from your ears. So we come off that right foot for a few moments and open up to tree pose. Right knee will open up to the right side of your space. Your right foot can either meet your ankle, your calf, or your inner thigh. Hands draw in to meet at heart center as you work to catch your balance. You're welcome to move over to a wall and stabilize yourself there. There is this firing in your left leg, this activation of your left quad. Think about rooting down more through your left foot. And as you root down, can you rise up tall through this body? Options here to explore a arm variation that serves you. So you might reach your arms up, open to a V. You can interlace your grip and press your palms up towards the ceiling. <laughs> you might be super wobbly, that's okay. Maybe explore a side body stretch. 
Wherever you are, use your inhale to lengthen, grow tall. Use your exhale to stabilize to room. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. As you exhale, bring your hands back to heart center, bring your right knee back to center, and slow lower right foot down to the mat. Take an inhale, roll your shoulders up, down and back. Okay, and then heel toe your feet. You can take a few of those if that felt good. And then open your feet up nice and wide. So you're still facing the top of your mat. Heels turn in, toes turn out. And lower down into a squat. Blocks, bolster, blanket, pillow, nice to have if squat doesn't feel necessarily that great in your body. You have your elbows to the inner line of your knees your palms at heart center, use an inhale to lengthen up through your spine, stacking your shoulders over your hips. You can explore some opening up to the right, to the left side. Maybe there's a fold forward. Take a couple more rounds of breath wherever you are. Rise back up, hold for a moment, inhale breath. As you exhale, hands to the mat, lift your hips, forward fold. Okay, get your blocks out of the way from behind you, heel toe your feet back in to hip distance. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Okay, with or without your props, this time you'll step your right foot to the back of your mat. You're here in a lunge. Your front knee and ankle stack, and then slowly lower your right knee down to the mat. So you can stay right here, pause, hold in this shape, or bring your hands to your thighs. Soften your shoulders from your ears, maybe arms reach up and over. Wherever you are, keep moving your shoulders away from your ears. Can you invite more opening and space through the chest? Draw your left heel back slightly, your right knee forward, so there's this activation, this lift up through the midline. Take an inhale breath, lift and lengthen right where you are. As you exhale, bring your hands down to the mat or your blocks, tuck your right toes. And straighten out through your left leg, allow your torso to fold over your left leg. Left hip keeps drawing back, right hip forward. And then let's attach some breath to this movement. Okay, as you inhale, lower your, bend your left knee, right knee meets the mat, arms reach up and over if you're taking it there. Exhale, hands to the mat or your props. Tuck your right toes, lift the hips, fold forward. Three rounds with your breath. Slow lower, arms can reach up. Exhale. Tuck your right toes, lift your hips up, forward fold. Last one, I think. <laughs> Lower down, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale. Tuck your right toes, hips press up and back fold. Okay, pause here. With or without your blocks, take them to the inside of your left foot, walk to the long edge of your mat. This time, a little bit different, come into a Sandasan. So you'll walk your hands over to your right foot. I'll turn to face you in a moment here. Just wanna keep the <laughs> right side. Okay, so you have this bend into the back knee. Okay. I don't know if I'm marrying you or not anymore, but we'll, we'll roll with it. And we're just gonna walk from side to side. So with your hands on your props or they're on the mat, you can tent your fingertips. We'll just walk from side to side, allowing this opening through the inner line of the legs, maybe some softening in the glutes, the muscles around the hips. Take a couple more rounds of breath as we walk from side to side. If bending all the way down into the knees doesn't feel great, here's an option. Take just a um, more of a lifted hip variation where you bend into the knee. You keep your feet rooted and you're just bending from side to side. This is a great option. Take a couple more rounds of breath. Okay, 
Okay, and next time you move to the top of your mat, pivot back into your lunge. So your left foot is forward, right toes are back. Move your props out of the way and step back to a downward facing dog. Pedal your knees, sway your hips. Settle back into your body. Let's come forward into a high plank and slow lower all the way to the belly. Use your knees if you need to. This time, locus will flow with the breath again, but hands behind your back this time, big toes together. Send your knuckles towards your heels. Use an inhale to lift up and lengthen through your body. Your feet lift your legs, lift your chest, and exhale, slow lower. We'll take two like that. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, slow lower. One more inhale, lift up. You're welcome to pause at the top, squeeze your glutes, lift your legs, lift your chest, hover your hands, and exhale, slow lower. Bring your hands down to the mat, child's pose. Take your knees out wide, big toes together, hips settle back to your heels. Take a couple breaths here to just settle back in. Feel your spine lengthen, mouth into each point of contact to the earth below. Stay and breathe. Stay for an inhale breath. As you exhale, press through your palms, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Left leg will kick up and back behind you, inhale. When you're ready, peel your left hip open, bend your knee, stack your hip. As you lift your left knee high, charge your right heel down, create as much space as you can between the heel and your top knee. Keep rooted through both palms or tent up onto your fingertips, you get to choose what feels good. If you're on the fingertips, let your left heel fall more to the right. Lower your left hand back down, square off your hips, high on your right toes, look forward, there's a lunge. Okay, root through your left foot. Stay high on the back toes if you can, of course, modification, you're on your back knee. Rise all the way up, crescent lunge. So once again, we fire up a bit more strength in the lower body. Feel your quads, your glutes, your core, tall spine. Take an inhale, breath lift and lengthen. Exhale, open up to cactus as you sink even deeper. Inhale, breath, arms reach up, you can look up. And exhale, cactus. Three rounds of breath, inhale, lift. Exhale, open. Last two, inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. Squeeze open, pause and hold. Bring your hands to meet up heart center, find buoyancy. Step to the top of your mat. Tree pulls right side, root into your right foot, bend your left knee up in towards your chest, soften your shoulders. Our last standing pose. Take your left foot now to the inner thigh, calf, or ankle. Move over to a wall or a chair if you're really wobbly this morning. Focus on pressing the bottom of your left foot, your inner thigh together, so there's that lift as you rise up through the midline. And any arm variation that serves you. Arms reach up and over, lengthen up tall. Begin, flip your palms, arms reach up. Maybe an interlace grip, hands behind you. Shoulders drop down. <laughs> and you can take the side body stretch to a great place to be. Take a few rounds of breath wherever you are, whether you're really stable or you are <laughs> hopping around, falling out. It's just yoga. Find your breath, breathe here. And next, inhale, come through center. Hands meet up, heart center. Knee forward, left foot to the mat. All right, friends, inhale, arms reach up and over, full body stretch. As you exhale, huh, let that go. And then plant your hands, step back. And let's just lower right down onto the knees. 
You can take a few cow cats if that feels good. Extend your legs out in front of you when you're ready. And come on to your back. Let's come all the way down. When you get there, bring your knees in towards your chest. Hopefully that last bit of practice gave you a bit of extra energy and invited a bit of lightness into your morning so far. Squeeze your knees in, you can rock from side to side. Open up your knees towards your armpits and take a happy baby shape. Your ankles stack up over your knees. You can grab from the inside or the outside edge of your feet. Enjoy your rock from side to side. Extend one leg out, then the other. And meet with your knees back in towards your chest. Give yourself another squeeze in. And bring your feet down to the mat. A couple more rounds of breath with your bridge pose. Just to flush out the front line of your body before Shavasana, arms alongside your body. Press into your feet, lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Exhale, slow lower hips back down. Inhale, press into your feet, lift your hips. Exhale, slow lower. This time, press into your feet, lift your hips. We'll pause here and explore. If full wheel is in your practice and you feel quite warm, ready to take it, you'll bring your hands beside your ears. Or you hold here in your bridge and roll shoulders underneath your back. See if you can interlace your grip just below your bum. Gaze down the midline of your body. Keep squeezing your glutes, lifting your hips. Keep your eyes open for this shape and invite some energy, some life into your body as you hold here. Music's getting a little bit fun, so take a couple more rounds of breath. Stay for one more inhale. And exhale, slowly lower all the way back down. And find a recline bound angle, similar to how we started practice today. Left hand on your heart, right hand on your belly. And as you hold here, scan your body for anything else that you need. Take any movement, pose, stretch. That might feel good before you rest out in your final pose. Take your time, no rush, but I highly encourage you to settle into Shavasana when you're ready to do so. So you can take your legs and your arms out nice and wide. Take up all the space that you have. Give your feet a shake, your hands a shake. Rock your head from side to side. And I'll stay with you here for a few breaths in Shavasana. If you're with me, take an inhale breath. And draw tension into your entire body. Squeeze your fists, your feet, your face, your jaw. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And exhale, let that go. Try that again. Inhale, breath. Draw in tension to your entire body. Squeeze your fists, your face, your feet. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And exhale, release. One more time. Big inhale, breath. Draw in as much tension as you can. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And fully surrender. <sighs> Allow yourself the next few moments to really settle in. Find a place of complete relaxation, ease, and peace, knowing that you are exactly where you need to be. These last few moments might feel like the right place to invite intention for the day ahead. And hopefully taking a bit of this ease and peace with you into your day, into your weekend. Stay where you are for as long as you have time for today. Take a big inhale breath for yourself for showing up and 
honoring your practice today. Thank you so much for allowing me to guide you and showing up to practice with me each morning. From my heart to yours, namaste. <laughs> Have a great day, you guys.